Hello everybody, this is Target Pistol Guy, a channel devoted to the guns that can hold center. Oh my god, what do we have in front of us? Ah, but before we get to that, as always, we're going to give you the three rules for life. In order, rule one, don't be a dick. Rule two, take care of yourself. Rule three, help other people. And always remember that no one knows what's going through your head. You don't know what's going through theirs. So be kind and cautious when dealing with other people. Okay, now that that's out of the way, today what on earth is this what did i do i hope my wife doesn't find out what are we looking at this is the combination Korth mongoose 5.25 inch nighthawk gorgeous beautiful oh my god it's levitating uh 300 357 magnum revolver let's go ahead and take a look at this maybe you can just hear this Oh my God, I can't even like tell you how good this feels. The gun's a little dirty because I like to shoot it. Uh, see if I can just hear this go through. And I... It moves with like, I don't know. I can't, it's so hard to describe. Like it doesn't just flop down. What if I just did that? It would just, just ease down. It's almost like it's like there's like little, like plastic tracks you know and it just stops and nothing ever hits too hard oh my god i could just talk about it so oh my goodness let's go ahead let's get started okay uh already said what gun this is uh so i purchased this about a year ago specifically for distinguished revolver uh competitions i have no distinguished revolver points i don't know why um, but i purchased this gun for a specific reason and i'll let you know that here in a minute uh, for those who don't know Distinguished Revolver is one of the Distinguished Badges. It's sanctioned by the NRA, uh, but basically it's uh, sort of akin to like service pistol in that you shoot a national courts match, which is single-handed, 10 shots at, um, at 50 yards, and then two separate timed and rapid uh, fire strings of five, two, two of five each. So you're shooting 10 at 50 yards, then you bring the targets back to 25, all one-handed, you're shooting... 10 shots at 25, two strings of five in 20 seconds for each string. And then you do that same thing, except you do it in 10 seconds. Uh, in my opinion, I, I, I love the, uh, the national match course. I think it's a, it's a wonderful equalizer when it comes to the ability to apply the fundamentals and shoot accuracy, accuracy, specifically when you're dealing with a pistol, which is a rifle that you hold in your hands. <laughs> uh, a lot can go wrong. So um, we're going to talk about this gun the same way we talk about every gun which is how we usually shop for it so the first thing that you're going to do is look at it and boy let me get this out of the way let's look at it um, so it has this sort of matte dlc finish and honestly i, I kind of didn't know much about uh Korth or court if it is uh you know the german company um but they've been making revolvers for quite some time for both sport and duty use but the one thing that you see about these, I mean, Colts, uh, you see it with uh, Old Smith and Wessons, uh, and you see it with Korth and like Van Heerens, is they have this like almost like blue, like T1000 blue that has so much depth to like, you look like you could like dip your fingers into it. Um, this does not have that. This has a more sort of contemporary look with that matte black DLC finish. And it is gorgeous. Uh, I don't even think I would like bling on this pistol. Um, sorry, it's a little dirty. Nice gold bead front sight. Um, but it is striking, particularly with the, the wonderful wood grips that it has. Um, the, you know, the, the wonderful branding that it sort of has for both Nighthawk and then Court on the other side. Um, and a full, you know, under lug. It's just a ribbed, you know, sort of ribbed barrel. Uh, it's just a fantastic thing. So uh, that's that. Let's talk about the trigger mechanism. And this is why I purchased this. One, I knew that these were known for superior accuracy, but two, using sort of these screws right here in combination, this is the only revolver that I'm aware of that has a externally adjustable trigger so that you can adjust, you know, the different uh, trigger characteristics Externally, normally you would have to just take this off and you would sort of have to replace 
uh, you know, leaf springs and all sorts of different stuff in here. This uses a roller mechanism um, that makes the trigger pull just fantastic and almost just kind of like, almost like a roll, I guess a little bit, but a short one. So when I shoot this, I don't shoot 57 through it, just 38 special. And the ones that I have had a lot of luck with are the 185 Atlanta Elite uh, Lead, which coincidentally is what you have to use in a uh, distinguished revolver. The hammer is skeletonized um, and is a little short. So when I'm shooting it, I have a very high grip on these stocks and I will shoot it. And then I will almost put my finger in front to get a full cock. Um, I'm, I don't shoot double action in Distinguished Revolver. That might make me a little effete. But the trigger in double action is, just listen to that. Ugh, it's beautiful. Let's take a look here. I have sort of different markings here. It also has the ability with this button right here to very easily remove the cylinder, and a lot of their guns will come with 9 mil cylinders. I think that's a cool feature, um, but I don't know. I mean, with 38 Special, especially if you're loading the bullets, you can load them to wherever you're in. They're still pretty cheap, so uh, I'm fine with just the uh, 357 38 So, all right, let's go ahead and put this back in here. Um, the sights on this, another reason that you would want this you know, over my, a Dan Wesson or a Smith is it has really big traditional rear sight with very easy to adjust. You can see where I have some paint markings, uh, points for both the long line and the short line. And then up front, though I might prefer a single line uh, or just a black front sight, this gold bead is, I think it is quite handsome. And hasn't caused me any issues. It's so squared off that the sight picture is very, very nice. So let's talk about what comes with the gun. Right? So now we've talked about the gun. And uh, for me, the accuracy so far, and this isn't a review, it's just initial impressions. Um, and you should tell by my somewhat speechlessness and talking over and battling my words that I'm pretty excited about the gun. Um, Accuracy has been phenomenal. I've been able to shoot sort of, you know, I've always sucked with revolvers, but I've been able to shoot a lot better with this using uh, this ammunition. I'll get the box in here so you can see what it is. Um, you know, I think I've been able to pull sort of in the 250s, which for me is, is really good for a revolver. Um, and I think it's just going to get better as I get more time with this gun. But let's talk about what comes with it because that's fun. When you buy a premium gun, you want premium swag. So it comes in this sort of like, like if this came to you, you'd be like, is this high-end lingerie? Or, or what, what did I order? Um, and then you pop it open, you go Tsh. It's got this little thing. Is the mystery still alive? There's an FFL. There's something about something. There's some other paperwork that I don't really care about. Oh, there's your test target. 5.25 mongoose from Nighthawk. They used 125 grain. Here's, uh, that's who I bought it from. And it does come with a second set of grips. So I thought originally I would like these grips more because the Hogue gets, you, know, you can get a nice grip on it. Um, but I used them and quite frankly, I didn't care for them. Um, so they stay in the box. You get your round. <laughs> you get, this is badass. Remove before flight. And then you get your little sweet cylinder. You get something. And then somewhere in here, and I think I actually might have it in the pistol rug, is that you get, as with a lot of German guns, you get high-end tools. Ein Schonetag indeed. I mean, this is metal, this is metal, and this is just, you use this and this little thing, and you just tweak the gun, just like, do 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 uh, This is cool. Like, you get that, it's it's pretty fun. I'm oh, sorry, get in the frame. Um, yeah, so you get tools. And then you also get another Nighthawk Custom 
uh, keychain leather thing or whatever. So the initial impressions, um, this is something honestly that I sort of never thought that I would own. It was definitely, I saw it on a forum. It was purchased new by me. I have no relationship with Nighthawk or Korth other than I, I, I want to have a relationship <laughs> with you after this. Um, it was a lot of money. The guns retail for um, sort of in, I think, the mid to high 3,000s. Um, I got this one for a steal uh, at just over 3,000. Um, so it is a premium piece. This is not, uh, you know, this is, this is not something that everybody, I guess, is going to own or buy. But I would want everybody to own or buy something like this because it's great. Um, but who do I think would want this? So one, I mean, you're going to have to have the money. Either you're going to have money and $3,000 isn't a whole lot to you and you just go and just like make it rain. Uh, and you're like, sweet, I bought a revolver. It's really expensive. Or you sort of say, listen, I want the best revolver out there. I want new production. I want, you know, if I want, if you want a court, uh, sorry, a court, like you don't want to, you know, you, you maybe you don't want a used one, which is usually the ones that you can find or imports. I want new production. I want a full underlug. I want something very, very accurate for target shooting. I want something that I can uh, adjust the trigger for. I think this is something worth saving your money for. And you might be saving for a long time, a whole year or two years. But trust me, when you get it, you're going to have the giggles just like me. Uh, it's awesome. So I will be using this throughout the next year or so, um, uh, especially this year because it's sort of been, uh, sort of the main competition has been affected by coronavirus. And, um, you know, you could use this for target shooting, you could use it for recreational shooting, you could use it for hunting because it is 357 Magnum and it has, at least here in Ohio, uh, I can hunt deer uh, with 357 Magnum as long as it has a barrel longer than five inches, which this does. Um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. My initial impressions are, oh my God, I feel like a very lucky person for owning this. So, um, and I look forward to shooting it more. It's just a, it's a complete joy. So, uh, this is the Court Mongoose, uh, Court Mongoose, uh, in cooperation with Nighthawk, bringing these guns to market. Uh, fantastic. I love these big wood target grips. I almost wanted them stippled, but, um, I don't want to go to hell, so I'm not going to stipple them. Uh, I might go to like the the medium place if I put some <laughs> grip tape on. Uh, anybody? Good place jokes? No one? All right. Uh, please, uh, if you own one of these or you're thinking about owning one of these, um, you know, go out and just sort of uh, ask some questions or comments, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, trying to build this channel. Uh, but this is a fantastic gun. I can't wait to shoot it. I can't wait to review it for you once I get it past the requisite 2,000 rounds of ammunition. It's going to be a lot of fun getting there. Thank you very much for visiting. Uh, take care of one another, look out for one another, and as always, shoot straight. Thanks.